Hi, Curious Minds, and welcome to DIY Creations. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to loop back to the first video I ever created on YouTube was my step-by-step -step instructions on how to make clip-on bow ties. So I've had a few requests on how to prepare, and I also said I was going to do a prep video if I had enough requests. Well, I have enough requests. So we're going to uh, do a video on how to prepare to make your bow ties. We're gonna go to the fabric store, and that's the first start, and we're going to pick the fabric that we're gonna use um, to make some bow ties. So that's the beginning, and we're gonna talk about the types of fabric that we're gonna need, the best types that are used for bow ties, um, and stuff like that. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and get started, and I will come back when we get to the fabric store. Talk to you soon. All right, we're here at Joanne's Fabric. It is hot as I don't know what. It's like 112, 113. They got 85 degrees in the shade. So we're going to go in Joanne's and see what they got on fabric, right? All right, now fabric selection. Silky prints, they're on sale here. These type of fabrics uh, are good for bow tie material. Not this one so much, it's not shiny. It's more for scarves or something like, no, not this either. Something like this is good material for uh, to make bow ties out of. It's nice and bendable. You want something that's gonna crease really well. This is way anything you can see through is not gonna work. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's see anything I usually kind of touch on stuff. This would be a nice fabric. I wouldn't use it for a bow tie because it's kind of loud, but look, they've got other pieces in here that you might could make a tie out of, depending on what you need. You might could use that. But I would silk with uh, silky um, blend mixtures. Let's see what they got over here. Um, another type I could use, these all are kind of like silky blends, but this is nice, this'll work. This one is kind of like a gabardine. It's not, it's more thin, so you gotta be careful. Sometimes it gets too thin. And then the satin silk patterns here, these are always good. Here, these are silky solids. And you get them by the yard. The colors you want to stay away from are those apparels. You want to stay away from denims. Those are most of the time, they're too thick. Corduroys, you don't want to do corduroys either. Those are mostly too thick for uh, bow tie material. So I got my mask on, guys. So if it uh, sounds kind of muffled, sorry about that. As far as interfacings, um, I'm going to show you another way I do interfacings, but if I can't, I use like what is this one? I'm it's all upside down. Definitely has to have some uh, glue on the back. It's got to be some self adhesive. The thick, you know, thick as you could get it without being clunky. Let me see if I can find out how wide this one is. It's usually the one I get there. And then I have another way I usually use uh, interfacing. I use this self-adhesive lining sometimes for the inside of the bow tie when I fold it if I can't find fabric glue because sometimes fabric glue gets a little expensive. Um, I will use that mousseline cloth and then I get some self-adhesive bonding and I will show you how I make my own interfacing depending on the stiffness. Fusion web adhesive. Okay, this one is uh, self-adhesive. I just want to make sure it's iron on the right one. This one says sewable. This one says no 
so iron on. Here's the fabric tack glue that we'll use for the inside of the ties. All right, here we are at Hobby Lobby. They have a fabric section for us to look into as well. Um, get the materials, the threads here. You've got like all types of fabric to choose from here. I usually come in here to get my solids, satins, silk, something like that. Um, it all varies about what you're looking for and what type of project you're trying to do. But it's always these silks and satin. These are always really nice ties. All right, guys, here we are at the table. We're going to get started. This is the preparation and probably the longest and most tedious part of making the bow ties um, all together. So here's that interfacing that we had, the muslin cloth. I got about a yard of material um, that I needed to make it thicker because I want to make some thicker type bow ties. If you have some thin material, you want to use a thicker interfacing. And then I took some of the um, ultra hold that I bought on the muslin, because you see it wasn't self-adhesive. And then I cut a piece of that and I ironed it on to a piece that I'm gonna use. And then you see here it sticks, you just iron it on, it sticks. And then when you're ready to use, it peels off and then you have your self-adhesive interfacing. So I'm gonna show you about that. Then if you have a thicker fabric and you don't need thick interfacing, then you would use um, just some basic, you feel the texture, almost like what you would use for your collars on your shirts. So you use that for the thinner ones. All right, and then you cut them out. I usually cut them out in sections like this. I'll show you in a minute. I have a measure, and then this will be the size of my bow tie is gonna end up. So I'll show you about, about that in a second. Now, I have my little measuring. I use this for another pro other projects, but it has the measuring lines here and that'll help us stay on point, as well as a ruler, a couple of rulers, scissors. All these things are optional, whatever works for you. But right now we're just gonna use, I have all of them here, depending on what I'm gonna need. All right, so let's start with the interfacing. Like I said, I already cut out a piece. So I'm gonna show you how I do my measurements. Now, depending on your bow tie, if you're making them for children or adults, like I said, I have a standard size that I use here if I'm going to do a standard adult size bow tie you should measure it at about four and a half inches in length that gives me long enough to go across the neck if it's a bigger man then I will maybe go up not all the way to five inches but I would go up to uh, maybe the three-fourths right there I wouldn't go any further than that because it starts to not look right in my opinion and the width I usually go right here. Not two and a half, but a little bit about two and a half. All these depend on the type of bow tie you're wearing. If you want a more butterfly bow tie, you're gonna do two and a half. If you want it more slender, you're gonna go down to two. But I have like, I like it like right there. That, that's the perfect tie for me. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I do, I make these. All right, now for this one, I'm gonna need a pin. I forgot about that one. Pin marker, you could use the colored pencils, whatever you wanna use. Everybody has their fancy little gadgets that they use, um, but they all have the same results. This isn't even, as I just cut it off of there. So I'm gonna start from here. See, I could use the measurements here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this even even enough for me there we go it's a little bit off definitely got to get it even um, because it will mess up your bow tie 
if you don't cut it straight. I think because I'm right-handed, it would cut better over there. All right, so now we got it just about right. So now we're gonna measure my first measurements. Let's go ahead and use this one. We're gonna go all the way across the four and a half. So we could either use this one right here or this. going to cut a few um, depending on how many bow ties you're going to make you want to just sit and cut all these out you can for the purposes of this video of course I'm just going to cut out enough just so you can get an idea on how to get it done Okay, so now that we've finished that, that's all about the interfacing. So what we're gonna do now is cut the material. So with at the fabric store, I really like this. This is like a cotton blend. Um, you may wanna stay away from it making bow ties. Again, you can make bow ties out of whatever you wanna make. This was really pretty. I'm gonna make a mask out of this. So I'm gonna make a mask and a bow tie set because I think this is really nice. So it's not too thick. Remember I told you to stay away from the thick ones. This is not too thick. And I'll show you how we're gonna use this. We're gonna make a bow tie out of this one. Well, this is just a prep video, but I'll show you how to prepare two different types of materials. This one's a little bit thicker, and this is about as thick as I will go on materials. Maybe some kente cloth, maybe. Um, and here's some satin silk. We saw some of that there. Um, I just got a piece of it here and I'm going to show you how to cut thinner pieces as well Again, I have a certain measurement that I work with to make my ties And I'll share that with you but as you start making them for your family or friends You can get the measurements and the size and the types of ties that you want. I'm just teaching you the basics And then you could make it your own once you learn the basics. That's how it works All right, so now again, I like this material. So we're going to start with this now, my measurements are, I didn't have my thing with me. All right, so let's see. Now my measurements are 10 by four and a half. I use extra material because I like to just cut frugally. Um, if you are really pinched for material, then you can cut it a little bit in, maybe about nine inches, probably about four, but I wouldn't cut it any shorter than four inches, no matter what. And you wanna turn your material inside out. You're gonna cut it with the material facing each other, line it up as much as possible. Um, I think I got about a half a yard of this. You don't need a lot, half a yard. This will make about, a half a yard of material this will make about at least five bow ties with handkerchiefs for a half a yard so if you're just making specialty items just bow ties just for one person you don't have to get a lot of material unless you're going to use it for multiple purposes even with this like i said i'm going to make a pretty mask and then i'm going to make a bow tie to go with this it's going to look really nice and i might show you that a little bit later as well but today, this is just a prep video. Remember, if you want to see the rest of it, go ahead and watch my step-by-step -step instructions on how to make clip-on bow ties. But this is a prep video that was requested on how to get ready to make those ties. All right, so we got about lined up, right? And lined up enough for me. This is my favorite measuring one. So we're gonna do four, no, it's 10 inches. So this is just my piece of material to start with. And we're gonna do 10 inches, which is right here. 
even the salvaged edge. Right there, yep. I'm gonna do 10 inches. And again, you could use the little marker thing. I'm gonna mark it there. And then we're going to, let's see, let's go down and mark it again. So I'll cut a little bit more. I'll cut a few pieces for you so you get the idea. I'm gonna cut two, show you how it's done. Thicker material, this is the easier one to cut because it stays in place. I'll show you the difference with the softer material. You gotta do a little bit more. Oops, it's moved over a little bit. Before you cut, make sure that it stays pretty much in line. Um, I was just about to show you that with the slippery one, but this one kind of slides as well. So you wanna make sure it stays in line to get the most out of your material. And then again, you cut on the line And I've cut enough for excess, way more than enough actually. You could usually cut about nine, nine by four, but I like having extra material. No, I didn't cut the line here. are about two pieces so this will be two bow ties I only need one just wanted to show you how to cut it twice and then um, these are our two pieces that we're going to use this is going to make one bow tie like I said in my next video step by step I use two pieces to make one bow tie and this is what I would do and then when I'm making the tie I would take one of these I would spray the starch on each one take one of these peel it off like this, put it on here, and iron it down. And then put another one on there, iron it down. And then like I said in my next video, it'll show you how to take it from here. But right now, we're just preparing. That's how you prepare the material that you're gonna use. So cut out all the material, all the interfacing that you're gonna use for your project. That's for the thicker one. Now for the thinner material, I'm gonna complete the same process for the thinner material, and then we're all done. 